Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm sorry because I'm late. This is because uh, I'm almost at my office. I'm almost at my office. So I just have to drop and say, let me do this short live broadcast. If you have just joined, share this broadcast especially if you are a pf member please tell me in the comment section how how is uh, is the sound okay can you hear me is the sound okay can you hear me please if you have just joined share with us quick share share the broadcast quickly if you have just joined share the broadcast let's get to a thousand and then we'll start talking especially if you're a press singer a press singer a upnd member food soldiers those that sacrificed their life to make sure that hh took over power those that sacrificed their money share the broadcast quickly so that we'll start talking those that uh, love a church you know love and pf members as well because what is happening to HH today is exactly what happened to Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu was a very good guy. Very good guy. I mean, you can't trust a man with uh, such power when you know that it's not good. When, always when Sata was leaving the country, he was leaving power with Eddie Galungu. I remember at a time Eddie Galungu was justice minister and he had two powerful portfolios. So that's how Sata trusted him. He was a good guy. If he was not a good guy, he was never going to be trusted with such responsibility. But unfortunately, as you know, usually good people are destroyed by the people they surround themselves with. So that is exactly what is happening to HH now. So share the broadcast quickly it, so that we can help each other here i'm not going to waste time like i said i'm just making this uh, broadcast this morning to respond to simon so that simon understand that people are not fools simon understand that politics is an investment when you invest it matures, you reap. You invest in politics, it matures, you reap. If you did not invest, wait for your time to invest. We are, we are here on earth, we are going to stay here for years, and we are going to die, and politics will continue. Politics does not finish. It's an investment. Right now, there is investment on Dr. Fred member. There is investment uh, on Oka. There is investment on all other political parties where you can go and invest. When it matures, you eat. The people that invested in UPND, this is their time to eat. That's what I'm saying. The people that invested, the people that invested money, that invested time, that invested their life, the people that sacrificed their life, that this is their time to eat. This is their time to eat. That's what I'm saying. You cannot eat with PF and come back to eat with UPND. No. What I'm saying 
Simon is that allow the people that invested in UPND to eat. That's all. You have taken advantage of the naivety of UPND leaders. You have put yourself into UPND, pretending like you love UPND, but you don't love UPND. You pretend like you love HH, but you don't love HH. You pretend like you love uh, 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 the government of UPND. You don't love them. You don't love them. Love is defined when there is trouble. In the middle of war, that is where you show love. Not when war is over, you go and embrace the winner. Hey, I love you, I love you. You start following them with cameras all over. No! That is what I'm saying. Politics is an investment. Please, the thing of saying, ah, we are there to serve people. No, 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 no. No one goes to politics to serve anybody. In politics, there is money. In politics, there is wealth. In politics, there is a lot and a lot of things that you can benefit from there. That is why people sacrifice. People kill themselves to take over leadership. Because once they take over leadership, they start eating. Whatever they invested, they start getting them back. What I'm saying is that allow these people who sacrifice, allow them to eat. Me and you are not uh, competing between who is a right, who is not righteous. No, I'm not saying I'm righteous. I can never be righteous. You can call me all the names that you want to call me. You can you can call me anything you want to call me. It's true. I believe I am a prophet. I am a businessman. I am a politician. So anything you call me is okay. You call me a scammer, perfect. You call me a, a, a false prophet, perfect. But the truth remains, I see I want the dawn of power. I say the truth. I fight for the people. Now, UPND, you have taken advantage of their naivety. Those people that are putting you on ZAF plane, they fly you up and down. And they forgot the people that we are fighting for them. As I speak to you right now, the people that supported the ministers that are in power today no longer have access to the ministers, but you have access to them. As I speak to you today, the people that fought for the president, they don't have access to the president. But you are, you, you, you are all over. Why? Why? You PND, Hakain Dechilema, wake up, wake up, you have surrounded yourself with your enemies. All the love that you are getting from these criminals that are around you right now. All these criminals, they don't love you. The people that love you are the people that sacrifice with you. Many of them are hungry. Many of them are thirsty. Many of them have turned around against you. Not because they hate you, but because they are not benefiting from the government they fought for. While chances, opportunists, cowards like Father Frank Walia, like uh, Calvin Sampa, betrayers like uh, uh, Simon Mwewa, they are all around you right now and you think that they love you. They don't love you. If they love you, they were going to be with you when you were at your lowest position. They were going to be with you when you were crying. But when you were crying, they were dancing with the PF. When you were crying, they were eating with the PF. The day you were in prison, all of us were crying. I remember I was still in Zambia by that time. All of us were crying. People were mourning. But Simon was campaigning with the PF. With the PF. With the PF. What has changed today? 
when you were languishing in prison all the people that love you proud mushimba mubita nawa kelvin mokoka Mr. Moffat, I remember Mr. Moffat even saw these properties. I have the receipt. Three million quacha. Sponsoring UPND. Sponsoring the campaign. All these criminals that are eating right now, they were nowhere to be found. These people sacrificed their life. They wanted to make sure that you are in power. You are in power today and you have embraced the criminals. Simon Uewa. You call me a scammer. You call me a false prophet. You call me a foreigner. You said I should focus on Nigeria. I should not talk about Zambia. Can I tell you something? Kenneth Kaunda is not a South African. But he fought for South Africa to get republic. I am a foreigner. I am a foreigner. I am a Nigerian. But when PF was busy killing innocent people of Zambia, when PF was busy disturbing women, disturbing, when PF was busy disturbing women at the market, I, as a foreigner, I stood up. I was in a foreign country. I was in South Africa. I stood up and they lended my voice to the people of Zambia. I spoke to them in millions. We spoke against PF. We fought against PF. While we are fighting against them, you were eating with them. You were dancing with them. Today, the people that fought for HL to become the president are now the bad people. You are the good person. The people that fought for HL cannot afford to climb on a bicycle you are flying you are flying zaf chopper they are carrying you on a chopper in the first place you are a disgrace you were deported from usa you call me a deportee yes i was deported by the pf government i didn't commit any crime you were deported from the usa and you came back as as a non-entity as we speak today, in Zambia, you are an ex-convict. You are a criminal. You have you have been you are an ex-convict. I am not an an ex-convict. I am C A one. I was deported in Zambia. Let me show you one of the reasons why I was deported from Zambia, so that you see, I'm not a coward. What I'm going to show you was posted by Mwebantu on the tenth of June 2017 in case you have forgotten once people take over power they become stupid this is what happened to Edigalungu I called Edigalungu while I was in Zambia say hey these people that you are bringing from MMD they are coming to destroy you they don't love you let Dallas Lear go. The people of Zambia removed UP, removed MMD because of corruption. Why are you bringing corrupt people back? Don't you have enough people in, in, in PF? He didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to me. He didn't. Today, where is he? Where is Dallas Lear? Where is Boman Lusambo? I can mention... I, thousands of them that left mmd and joined pf what was their mission they went they stole and they destroyed this is exactly what is happening in 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 uh in upnd today criminals have taken over the party the people that fought they are no longer seen anywhere the musicians that sacrificed their life they are no longer anywhere to be seen Simon Mwewa, when I said that you are campaigning for PF, you said they paid you for you to, to carry their rally. You said you are doing business. Let me ask you a question. You, are, you call yourself a child of God. You go to a white man's church. In the first place, any black person that find it very, very 
uncomfortable attending a white man church there is something wrong in his brain because if you see churches where it's being led by blacks it will be full of blacks the few white people that you are going to see there are those that are benefiting financially from the church so if you are a black person and you find yourself every day you are you are advert you are campaigning for the white your brain is useless what those people did to our ancestors i don't even want to talk about it i'm doing politics i'm not doing the religion i will talk about religion later but you say you call yourself a child of god you criticize me you call me a criminal you call me all sorts of names you call me a false prophet what you will not take away from me is that i don't fear i say the truth i stand with the people even what i'm saying right now hh is watching or hh will watch deep down his heart he will know that he's saying the truth you will know that this guy stood for me when people like you we are nowhere to be seen you will know that this guy even being a foreigner fought for me when people like you we are dancing he was in prison i was crying let me give you this look at this hh was arrested this was my letter to edgar lung this letter was carried by Mweband. as you know Mwebantu is uh, the biggest and the verified online news in zambia they don't lie they don't joke they are not uh, jokers they are not like uh, this other useless things any news that you see here is right look at the date look at the date june 10 10th of june 2017 i was still in zambia now look at my picture i was still a young boy this is the letter that i wrote eddie galungu when he put a church in prison i was in zambia just watch watch oh i didn't start fighting for a church today this is 2027 20, this time i was still in zambia this service that you are seeing there was conducted in zambia at mandevu basic school ground that is where that service was conducted look at me i was very young but i was fighting for a church as as young as i was please forgive a church and release aka in the hlema see a one orgies president lungu this was when lungu imprisoned a church I was still in Zambia. Those of you that think that you love HH more than me, those of you that think that you 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 know HH more than me, this was 2017. I was in Zambia. And those of you that say see one is a coward, is fighting because he's not here. No. I can fight anywhere. I was in Zambia and I was still fighting the sitting president for putting HH in prison. See, this is Mwebantu. Mwebantu is the one who wrote it. He's still there on Mwebantu. Go and check for yourself. See, one does not love HH. See, one does not love HH. Please. 2017, HH was not even smelling presidency. Please forgive and release HH. See our one Ojis Edigalung. Flaboyant and controversial Nigerian prophet Andre Jimad, popularly known as Sia One, says he will not join the group of cowards and deceivers that have surrounded Edigalungu to tell him lies about the nation in the name of in the name of prayer and spiritual guidance i am the dawn of power i don't fear anybody i was talking to eddie galungu eddie galungu was in power he was the president and i was addressing this to him in his letter to lungu to president lungu see one says he has appealed to the president to find it in his heart and have mercy on hh and free him so that he can reunite with his family 2017 i started fighting for hh while i was in zambia simon tell me where you fought for hh when he was in opposition 
the day a church was put in prison you were dancing with the pf where is the love coming from all of a sudden you are taking advantage of the naivety of UPND leaders they have embraced you thinking that you love them you don't love them the people that love HH are the people that stood with him when he was in opposition if you are a president everyone will pretend to love you when Eddie Galungu was in power Boma and Lusambo the wife gave birth to a twin one of them is said he said Diga. One of them is said Stella. We are is Bowman Lusambo and Diga Lungu today. Fake love. Fake love. Betrayer. Betrayer. The reason why I I I don't respond to uh, I don't respond to people like simon or these other idiots that are talking see i want see i want no 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 i don't have time for those those are young children those are young babies they don't know anything but the reason why i'm using this to tell the leadership of upnd to say your downfall is at hand the people that you have embraced now thinking that they love you they don't love you there are people that sacrifice their lives for you. There are people that lost businesses for you. Those days when you support UPND, you are, you, you are like an outcast. Simon, let me ask you a question. You said you are born again. You love Jesus. I am a false prophet. I've shown you a false prophet stood with HH when HH was in prison. Where were you when HH was in prison? You were dancing with the PF. You were campaigning for PF. When PF cadres were killing and destroying, when you wear UPND regalia, you come out. I didn't I didn't see you detach yourself from them. You were still campaigning for them. Mao Sampa was your best friend when he was in PF. When they were in power, you were always going to his house with your camera. Oh, my brother. Oh, my brother. What has changed? Kelvin Sampa was your best friend. Chilando was your best friend. All the PF criminals, they were your best friend. Did you tell them to stop killing people? Did you tell them to remove a church from prison? Show me where you campaign for a church. You said you are doing an advert that if they pay you, you you advertise for them. So are you telling me that it is good if a Satan must come and give you money to do an advert for him? Are you telling me you do it? You say you knew that PF was a bad organization. You said you knew that PF was killing people. PF was stuck. You called them notorious PF. You know you knew that they were notorious, but you were advertising for them. From the deep down your heart, is this the character of a believer? So what if because you 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 have a page though a page that is not doing well? That's what you PND leaders are not realizing. You who is who listen to who listen to Simon Simon? What influence does he have? Now, okay, you say that you have uh, you say that you have uh, they we are paying you for advert. So a criminal, notorious people can come and pay you for advice and you advertise for them. What if they won the election in 2021? So you mean that they were notoriously going to, you wanted them to continue ruling? A good business person, a good child of God. When you bring a business for him, and he knows that this business is going to affect people's life negatively. He will reject it. Personally to me, let me show you something. As I began to fight PF, this was July 2022. And this was Mast newspaper. This is a credible newspaper. 
the government of the Republic of Zambia, government of Lungu, approached the Nigerian government. Okay, let me, uh, let me I'll come back to this one. Okay, let me go to the, the other one. This is Lusaka time. The government of the Republic of Zambia approached the Nigerian government to stop me from campaigning for a church, to stop me from speaking for the marginalized in Zambia, to stop me from fighting the PF. Nigeria High Commission to Zambia assures PF they will address the one concern. The Nigerian High Commission in Zambia contacted the federal government and the federal government told me to stop fighting PF. Did I stop? This was 2020. I did my campaign until the last day of election. In fact, that day election was taking place. I was still campaigning for a church. I didn't res I, I disrespected my government. I said no. I disrespected my government because my conscience told me that PF was not doing the right thing. PF was killing people. PF was destroying property. PF was mistreating a church. I didn't listen to my government because my conscience would not allow me to watch people suffer. My my conscience would not allow me to see a church die in prison because had they had had the pf won election a church was going to be dead by now in prison because i knew all the plan why we are fighting for all this thing you were dancing with the pf today those of us that fought the battle we are bitter now you are the right person right eh? So they paid you for you to advertise their agenda. You wanted them to continue ruling. Eh? You were sharing. You knew that they were lying on their campaign messages. But you were giving them platform to lie to the people. What did you expect? If UPND was a serious government, people like you would never be anywhere close to the president because you are a Judas Iscariot. You can betray because of money. I didn't betray the people of Zambia. Even when my federal government intervened, I stood and fought. But you betrayed them. I don't know how much you said PF paid you. Maybe PF paid you uh, I don't know how much PF paid you. But because of that thing they paid you, you betrayed. Now that you see that they won, they lost the election, you have now come, you are pretending like you love HH. HH, wake up. Simon is a traitor. If you lose the election in 2026, he will move. The, he, he was, now he's calling PF notorious. He's calling Eddie Galungo all sorts of names. But he's the one who was in forefront. He go on. He go on. He go on. <laughs> to, see, to me, I'm not bothering. I don't even have a problem. I'm still a young boy. I'm in my 30s. I still have a long way to go. If I don't eat in UPND government, another government will come. I will eat. So long as I work, so long as I work, I must eat. It may not be UPND government. UPND is not the last government. I, I still have a long way to go. I mean, I'm young. And I know my life from now to the next 20 years, to the next 50 years. But let me tell you, Simon. Once, if UPND continue to partner with you, if UPND continue to sideline the people that fought for them, the people that sacrificed to them, and you have managed to put yourself, I don't know how dull those guys are. I don't know how stupid those guys are. And sometimes I don't blame HH also. I've realized that the guy don't know what is happening. The guy don't know what is happening. He, 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 he just find himself in things because the people he entrusted with making decision are fools. <laughs> That's why sometimes I look at him, I laugh. Uh, there are people, somebody like Matomela, 
he went to prison because of HH. Mubita Nawa. He went to prison because of HH. Where is that one you threw away to Namibia? Anthony Mumba. These are people who are very, supposed to be very close to the president. There are many of them that sacrificed. Kelvin Mukuka. Eh? Naki Uni. I mean, how how many of them am I going to count? This uh, Rasta guy, Michael Zulu. Even B Flo. Eh? How many of them am I going to mention and leave? These are the people that are supposed to be eating. The way Pilato is eating now. These are the people that are supposed to be eating. And when they are eating, they are going to be explaining properly the vision of UPN. Because these people that have come in now, imagine bringing in somebody like uh, Frank Waller. What does Frank Waller know about UPN? When HH was sharing the vision and suffering, being killed, being butchered, being blocked, being done so many things, there, there was visions that he was sharing with the people he was with. Frank Weller doesn't know it. Simon doesn't know those visions. They don't know what people went through. They don't understand what people went through. So the people that will share the vision of the president to the people are the people that understand the vision. And these are the people that suffered with the president. All that we are saying is that please let the people that suffered enjoy. Today, the mother to Simon has contract. They gave her contract. Ministry of Health. She's pursuing for that contract. Where was Simon when we are campaigning for a church? Eh? Where was he? Simon, do you know the cost of flying a helicopter? And the UPND, this is why I'm saying the people that are handling President HH have messed him up. We we are fighting PF for using the ZAF helicopter to carry Mampi, an international star like Mampi. To carry Mac 2, an international star like Mac 2. Yo map. These guys are international musicians, respected all around the world. We are fighting them and saying, why are you using taxpayers' money to carry these guys? Today, UPN they have come into power. They are using the same ZAF aircraft that we fought people that we are using we are used they are using the same plan to carry non-entities like uh, simon non-entity a deportee i mean somebody who came back from abroad with nothing and is dying without anything without achieving anything a non-entity a somebody that's supposed to be HH. Simon is your age mate. It, it, Simon should be learning something from you. You and Daddy Galungu. Simon should be learning something from you. You guys had no no father. We don't know the name of your father. Your father left nothing for you. You you fought. You fought your way up. You went from nothing. You you fought and fought and fought until you fought yourself to presidency. The non-entity, the idiot that call himself Simon, the father left him name. I mean, the name of his father is everywhere. That one alone is enough to give him a shoulder to climb. The father sacrificed and made a name for himself only to give birth to an idiot. Who, who he spent all his money in America training him just to, to be deported and become a nomad, a non-entity and that non-entity has become important to UPND today even PF did not regard him PF didn't see him as somebody important PF was PF, PF was giving him one one naira, two two naira, small small money. Today you pay, you are even carrying him on your jet. How about the people that fought for you? Lucky comedy. You carry these children that don't know anything. You want to destroy their career like the way PF destroyed Kasaka's career. You carry them on jet. Can these children, when when power changes hand in 2026 or any time, can these children afford to pay for the money? 
They are going to be with Lucky Kasaka. Kasaka was hot care when he started campaigning for PF. After PF won in lost election, where is he? These children, their comedy is already dry. It's already dry like a dry fish. And you are finishing it already. Eh? You are just, why are you carrying them on President on, on Zafel Cup? If we condemn you for carrying a, a whole international star like Mambi, international star like like your map, international star like Mac 2, if we condemn you for carrying them, using taxpayers' money to carry them, then you are, you are now carrying a camera. I mean, not even a, a vlogger, not even an international vlogger. You are carrying him on the plane, and the you, people are clapping for you, and you think that people are fools. President HH, there is a report on your table. There is a report on your table. There is a report on your table that has told you from the office of the president, intelligent officer, they have told you that you have your popularity has come down to 30%. It's still on your table, and you are aware of this. Do you know why you are losing popularity? It's not because of the crime the things that no because right in your party people are not happy the people that fought for you are not happy and these are the people that have your interest at heart these are the people that have your interest at heart they are not happy. They are no longer talking to people about you. If you go to the street today, you will see that the popularity is gone. That's why today, now you are engaging clueless children, children that don't know anything. Maza comedy, uh, 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 what is the name? All these young, young children, they don't know nothing. Who can they influence? What do they know about politics? You abandon the people. Eh? The people eh? that fought the battle, you are not dealing with idiots like Simon, fools. Eh? It's, you claim that you are you are a born again, you are a child of God. If you are a child of God, if you are neutral, you are by now. You are supposed to stand and speak and tell the president to say, Savior Masebo committed crime. I've never seen you write something bad about UPND. I've never seen you speak up for the poor. I've never seen you speak up for the masses. It's, you are always with the government of the day. And when I fight, you say, we, are, we can fight our battle. We are going to fight our battle. How are you going to fight that battle? Because you have never fought. Right now, UPND people that are abandoned are crying. UPND does not have any single structure. HH is going to Copper Belt. Do you know for him to gather crowd now, they have they have to arrange small these small small comedians and so on, these dry guys. Now, just to pull crowd for HH. When HH was in opposition, he was he was the crowd puller himself. Anywhere he passed, people follow. Anywhere he passed, people follow in number wah, 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 because they loved him genuinely. Why did they love him? Because we spoke to the people. We spoke to the people. So today, Simon Mwewa, the mother has is not getting contract. She's getting favor from the government and those that fought for the government are told to form cooperative and they have obeyed they are formed cooperative what is happening in the cooperative even your praise singers those most of those the few that are remaining that are fighting me today they are hungry they have nothing to write home about your musicians the cadre, the 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 uh, 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 the cadres, uh, 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 organized families, uh, government, knack unit, all these guys are still hungry. They are still poor. 
They fought for you to be in power. And you're in power, and you have neglected them, and you have followed Judas. The same way Simon betrayed uh, ECL. He go one, he go one, he go one. Boma, Lusaka one, Kasama one. The same way he betrayed them is the way he will betray you. Go back to the people that fought for you. Like I told you, when the I started, one thing about me that I don't fear because we have been trained at the Godfather to know that no one would defeat us. No one on earth, born of a woman, so long as you have a head and you have, a, unless, he, please, no matter who you are, no one can defeat us. We have been told and we have tasted the power and we have seen the power. We don't fear. This was me in 20, 2017. Look at the date. I was still in Zambia, but I was fighting Edgar Lungu, the sitting president. Eh? I was fighting for a church. Release a church. Let a church go back to his family. Release a church. Release a church. Release a church. He to go back to his family. I was fighting Lungu. Look at it. By the time I was fighting Lungu, I was in Zambia because I don't fear. Look at me. I was a very young boy. Just take a look at that picture. I was young, but I don't fear. Because I know the kingdom where we are coming from. We don't fear. When I was fighting for you here, Simon was dancing with the PF. In fact, those days, Simon never used to mention a church. Simon never used to... Simon never used to call your name. Simon used to call you the leader of the Reds. It was very difficult for Simon to call you a church. Simon didn't want to mention your name. He used to say the leader of the Red. The leader of the Red. But today, you are now, I don't know if you are, they, he call you Ego One or P1 today. I don't know what he call you because, <laughs> and you are crazy. You believe that people that love you hate you and the people that hate you love you. The reason why I responded to this idiot who called me a criminal, I am a criminal, yes, but I stand with the people. I speak for the people. As a born again who is not a criminal, what are you doing with the UPND? Your mother got contract. Did you tell the world? You are now getting benefit. I don't want to say many things that are uh, please you state house you you provoke me you are the one that is provoking me and when I come to fight you it looks like see one is a bad person detach yourself from this idiot he has nothing to offer go back to the people these people that you think they are nobodies these people that you think that they are finished these people that you call mad right now they are the people that put you in power Go back to them. Go back to them. Go back to them. Let them eat from their labor. No one will be happy to labor in vain. Will you be happy to labor in vain? No. Let them eat. Let those that fought for a church, let them eat. When Mutinta, the wife to the president, Mrs. Mrs. Akainde Echilema, her excellence, when she was crying, we are crying with her. Let those who are crying with her laugh with her. Those people that caused that pain are now the people that have carried, like they, it's like it's like now they are, it's like now they are they are the people that love HH the most, but they are the people that caused the pain. They are the people that cause the pain. The reason why the Nigerian government fought me is because PF, led by Kelvin Sampa, the youth, the PF youth uh, chairman then, is the one who went to Nigerian embassy and reported me. Why did he report me? He reported me because he wanted the government to stop me from fighting for... A church. 
Imagine if I stopped fighting. What was going to happen? Hmm? HH, I believe that you are going to watch this video on your own, not your advisors. The people are not honest with you. President Akainde Chilema, your people are not honest with you. They are, they, they are stealing. They are after their pocket. They don't care. If they cared about you, they would have told you that somebody like Simon Mwewa cannot be trusted because he will betray you at any time. They would have told you that carrying dry comedians like uh, 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 these guys, Maza, uh, just all that, carrying them on a, 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 a government helicopter, please, it's a waste of taxpayers' money. And you don't even need those people. What are you doing? What are you actually doing with Frank Walia? What does Frank Walia know about UPN? There are people that know about UPN. Go back to those guys. You 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 used to love all of us. <laughs> you know, you used to love all of us. You used to say when I win, this will happen, that will happen. But what happened? What happened? To me, I'm not. Uh, I don't want relationship. I don't even. Uh, the, the Michael Michael nearly lost his life. He was campaigning from the bush. Where is he today? Somebody like Michael cannot fly a a a, 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 a helicopter. It's, it's, it's Simon Simon that was all over with PF. Please, where is your brain, UPN? Eh? B flow. Even if B flow at at at, the, at, at some point erred. He went to meet, uh, he went to a state house to meet them. He came back and apologized and continued fighting for the people and continue fighting for a church. Why have you abandoned him? What, how about Mubita now? He went to, he went for, he went to prison because of you. Mukuka Mukuka, up to today, he's still going to prison. He's still going to court. Up to today, he's still going to court. Hmm? How many of them am I going to mention? Mr. Moffat, His Excellency, the letter of Mr. Moffat is, is there on your table. You know that he sold everything he had. As I speak today, it's a laughing stock in his life. Everyone is laughing at him. Because he cannot afford to eat again. People lost their fingers. Why have you abandoned them to go and embrace your enemies? It's not about me. I don't need relationship. Like I said, I'm still young. If the opposition come today and they agree to what what I've told them, I mean, I'm a politician. I'll I'll work with them. I'll fight with them. I don't have enemy. I don't have permanent enemy. Uh, a few years ago, UPND was my best friend. I mean, you loved me so much. Today, because I'm saying the truth, yeah. We don't see a one. See a one is dividing the nation. See a one talk about your country. When I was fighting PF, I was in South Africa. PF, anytime I come live, PF will say, Go back to your country. Go back to your country. Go back to your country. Those things, I mean, those things doesn't faze me. I am an African. If Kenneth Kawunda fought for other countries from Zambia, I mean, this is Africa. I can fight for anybody that I want. Those things don't even... I don't... Talk about your country. Your president. When I was fighting for in the history of Nigeria. When I was fighting. When I was fighting for HH. We had the worst president in the history of Nigeria, Buhari. Buhari was the worst president that Nigeria ever, ever had. We had him. I was not talking about him. I was fighting PF. PF was there, go back to your country, talk about, so today, few, I know that UPND is just few people, few, very few people 
uh, who come here ah, talk how about your country talk about your country you can open a facebook page and talk about nigeria i mean uh, i'm uh, we have liberty to talk i can talk for anything that i want the Satan that ah Satan 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 every day you are talking about Satan is Satan from your country? Why do you talk about him? Jesus 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 is Jesus a Zambian? Why do you talk about Jesus? Why don't Israel Israel Jerusalem Jerusalem? Why don't talk about Zambia? We are in a global world where you can talk about anything. You can talk about Bowman Lusambo donated one thousand dollar to the campaign of Trump. <laughs> it's Trump is Zambia. So those things don't even those things is fools that write those things. It's idiots that say talk about Nigeria. Talk about Nigeria. You know something about Nigeria. Create a Facebook page if you think it's easy and talk about Nigeria and gather Nigerian audience. That's why I am the dawn of power. I'm going to leave this broadcast here. It's a warning to UPND. You have allowed yourself to be deceived, and uh, your enemies are now your friends, and your friends are now your enemy. But uh, it won't go far. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Like I said, I see a one. I'm not an ex-convict. Simon is an ex-convict. I was deported from Zambia because of politics, because I was fighting for a church. Simon was deported from USA. I am in Nigeria. I've established I'm doing well. I'm building a city on my own. Simon, what are you doing in Zambia? My father has a very big compound, very, very big compound, massive compound, and very big church. When I came back to Nigeria, I didn't go and occupy it. I left it for my young brother because in Africa, once your parents send you abroad, they don't expect you to come back with empty-handed. They expect you to come back and take over and they, from where they stop, you add more. So I left everything for my young brother. I started afresh in Nigeria. Today I'm leading the largest congregation in Imo State. Largest. I'm building a city, not a house, not a shopping mall, not a shop. A city, I think. Uh, okay, it's on the other phone. Uh, I was going to show you. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can see something here. And this city will be open to the public on a uh, It will be open to the public on in in August in uh, October, 26th of October. The whole world can come and see what C1 built in Nigeria within the space of two years. It's development. Hmm? Let me show you some more. I was deported, and this is me. This is a city that I'm developing. I was deported. I came back, I didn't just sit and start crying. I was deported, I was deported, I was deported. No, 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 no. I was deported back to my father's land. And I'm here. I pick up the pieces and I'm doing well. You, what did you achieve from America after your deportation back to Zambia what did you achieve nothing I'm a big person people respect me anywhere I go here in Nigeria but you are you, you are not you are nothing the only thing you do is fighting with women in the market square beating women that's why you are an ex-convict 
Uh, 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 a president that knows what he wants, a government that knows what he wants, should have stayed away from uh, stayed away from you. There are good people that are not ex-convict that fought for UPND that can do better. You don't have nothing, not even influence. You don't have go live today and talk about uh, politics. Let's see how many people you influence. You don't have it, but I have it. So we can we are not on the same level, Simon. We are not on the same level and we cannot be on the same level. I always hear you say ah H H is wise that he didn't associate himself with CR1. Please have I was talking with H H. If I want today again, I will talk to him. If I want to talk to him till forever, I will talk to him. I am the one that stopped on my own. Almost everybody at State House, I was talking to them. Almost all of them, I was talking to them. The evidence is there. I am the one that stopped. When I realized to say, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. we fought together. You are eating alone and we are not eating. I stopped. Not a thing that he think that uh, if I want to talk to H today, I will not talk to him. Uh -huh. You want to come back to Zambia? Please come back to Zambia to do what? I respect Zambia, but we must understand the level of growth. I love Zambia so much. Zambia is here. I will come. I, I mean, I will visit. Ah, you want to come in Zambia, in Zambia because oh, please. There are, there are levels to life. At my level, I've passed the level of going to stay in Zambia. Because I am now an international man of God. I have bigger crowd and bigger responsibility in Nigeria. And you know that when you want to reach the world, if you are a minister, you are, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, you want to reach the world. There are only two countries in Africa where you will stay and achieve that number one is nigeria that is why if today a man of god is coming from zambia coming to nigeria no one will attend no one no one will even attend the crusade they will even laugh but if a man of god is coming from nigeria like for example uh Adeboy, Oyedepo, uh, TB Joshua, uh, they say they are going to zambia you will see that the stadium will be filled up hmm? Why? Because Nigeria in in the in African map, Niger when you capture Nigeria, you have captured the whole world. So I am here now fighting to capture the whole world. You can't uh, telling me to come and stay in Zambia to do ministry. It's like moving me from grade twelve to grade one. I love Zambia. In business, I love it. Perfect. In many many other things. Zambia is good, the peace and so on. But if you want to be an international uh, figure in ministry, it's either South Africa or Nigeria. So I cannot. You don't expect me to come to to stay in Zambia. I will never. I will never. I will never ever in my life settle in Zambia. I've passed that level. You people must travel. Before you comment, you will not come back to Africa. Travel. You will know that actually Zambia still has a long way to go. One of the reasons why I, I, I uh, campaign for a church. I even campaign to an extent that I had to leave South Africa to come to Nigeria and met my look my state government and told them to say if this guy win election. All this money that our politicians are stealing and taking to Dubai, why not they steal it and take it to an African country? Move those billions to Zambia. Eh? Zambia, what you have, move to Nigeria. Eh? 
Nigeria, what you have moved to Kenya. We use that money that we are carrying and taking to Dubai. That money that we are storing in offshore accounts. That we are going to die without touching those money. We use them to develop Africa. That's what I was fight fighting for. I assured my state government to say, if you help me, yeah, this guy wins election. He's coming. I know many of you, you carry all your money. You go and load it in offshore account in Switzerland. White people are using our money, the money that you stole from Africa to develop their country. When you steal that money, because you cannot stop a politician from stealing. That is a guarantee. A politician is going to see whether you like it or not. But when you steal that money, invest it in Africa. Go to Zambia and develop Zambia. Go to Kenya and develop Kenya. Come to Nigeria and develop Nigeria. Africa is one. When we build ourselves, IMF will not the IMF will not see what IMF is doing to African countries. They can't do it to China. They can't do it to any other country in Europe. Those were the things that I was fighting for. At the end of the day, whew. <laughs> anyway, I will leave you here so that I have a lot of work that I'm doing today. I just want to say that may God bless you. People of Zambia, I love you. I don't want you to see this war that is coming that is between me and the people of Zambia. You know that I love the people of Zambia. And I will always love the people of Zambia. And I will always stand with the people of Zambia. This war is not between you and me no this war is between bad government and me criminals like simon i will be coming always life enough is enough i love you people of zambia so much you even know deep down your heart you know that see i want to love you you know it that see i want to love you i read one one caption here this was in uh, 2020 mm? mass newspaper the last one i'm going to read for you mass newspaper have you seen it see one the nigerian who loves zambia by julius kapemba phd july 2022 july 22 2020 that's who i am it has not changed that love has not changed it has not changed that's why i'm fighting for you even most of you that that uh, i mean some few pressing up i've managed to open the eyes of a lot of pressingers they are in my inbox in thousands these are people that sacrifice their life for upnd i've managed to open the eye but there are still few i'm asking you to wake up somebody comes into your father's house carry your food and eat your food and you keep quiet if you keep quiet you are a fool if you are among those people that are keeping quiet and watching people like simon eat what belong to you touch your right hand on your chest and say i'm a fool you are a fool. Big one. You must rise up and fight for what belongs to you. So I will leave it here. I'm going back to my house. I love you. May God bless you. Share this broadcast so that everyone will see and understand where we are heading to. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.